everybody and welcome to this edition of the Arts and Culture Spotlight. We are starting off with Century 2 this time and one of Century 2's favorite tenants, Music Theater Wichita. We're very fortunate to have a special guest here with us today. We have Wayne Bryan of Music Theater Wichita. Wayne, thanks for being here. Thank you for inviting me again. I appreciate it. I Bye. understand that your season has just started. It is. Uh, June is the month that everything kicks off at Century 2. So in the first part of June, the, the opening show is Aida. Tim Rice and Elton John's uh, rock and roll take on an ancient story. And then immediately we go into Disney's My Son Pinocchio, which is the professional pr premiere. It has great songs by Stephen Schwartz that wrote Wicked and Pippin and Godspell. And Stephen Schwartz is coming for the opening night on June 24th to check out what we're doing as our representatives from the Disney company. So uh, it's very exciting for us over there, building all the sets and costumes and magic effects. Tell us a little bit more about what goes into it. Well, sure. Well, My Son Pinocchio is sort of a hybrid. It's 75 years now since the Disney company created the animated classic Pinocchio. And then 10 years ago, they did a TV movie called Geppetto that tells the same story, but from the point of view of the toy maker Geppetto. And uh, a lot of people really like this version of the story because it's all about what happens when a parent wishes for a child and then gets a child and then that child is nothing like what you thought it was going to be. <laughs> a pretty universal story. <laughs> yeah. So they've included two great songs from the original Pinocchio animated film, When You Wish Upon a Star and I've Got No Strings. And then they have these beautiful new songs that Stephen Schwartz created. So it's, uh, it's colorful, it's lively, it's great for the whole family. We've actually added one Saturday morning a special 10 a.m. matinee on June 27th. And at that 10 a.m. show, a children ages three and four are welcome. Normally, we have to be at least five years old to go to a music theater show. But on that one Saturday morning, uh, all ages from three to 103 are uh, w uh, welcome. Well, talk to us a little bit about the set design, because in the basement of Century Two is your hub where you have um, people working on the sets. A little bit about that process. We do. A music theater is unique, and most cities can't do this anymore, but thanks to the wonders of Century 2, mm -hmm. with a paint shop, a costume shop, a mm -hmm. carpentry shop, a prop shop, uh, we can have a whole army of talented young people mm -hmm. that we've gathered from all over the country mm -hmm. who come here for the summer. Music Theater Wichita creates about 300 jobs every summer and we all take a residence in Century mm -hmm. 2 and every 10 days we turn out another Broadway scale show. My Son Pinocchio features designs by a fellow named Jay Branson who started with us as an apprentice 20 some years wow. ago and now is a designer in Chicago and he has designed almost all of our Disney shows. He's designed Beauty and the Beast, and Mary Poppins, The Little Mermaid, High School Musical. <laughs> so he's a real specialist in the Disney genre and so he's created colorful sets that will take us from inside and outside Geppetto's shop to Pleasure Island where the boys turn into donkeys to all sorts of other locations inside the belly of the whale that yeah. swallows Geppetto and mm. Pinocchio. So it should be a nice colorful thing and Tia Torchia is the costume designer. She also did Beauty and the Beast for us so they work together really well. Well one of the amazing things is that people realize that Music Theater Wichita is a gem. You're coming there, you're getting a Broadway quality show. At a fraction right. of Broadway prices. Yes, right here in Wichita. Come once, come twice, see it three times. I mean it's a wonderful opportunity to see this and these are people who are up and comers that will they eventually aren't. Yeah, this season on Broadway, we have 40 of our young alumni working either on stage or backstage as stage managers, yes. designers, uh, directors, choreographers. And uh, two of the five nominees this year uh, for Best Actress in a Musical were our young alumni, Kelly O'Hara and Kristen Chenoweth. So you never know yeah. who you're going to see this year here in Wichita and next year on Broadway. Wichita definitely is known in New York mm -hmm. when you come to that. A little bit on the shows that follow Pinocchio. Yeah, Billy Elliot, the musical, and Big Fish. Mm -hmm. Those are and coming then, in July. And then Hello, Dolly in August. Yes, uh, Billy Elliot is a phenomenal show. It requires a leading man who is between 12 and 14, who is a world-class ballet dancer, but who can also do jazz, ballet, hip-hop, acrobatics, and sing and speak with a Welsh accent. <laughs> we, we found a wonderful young man named Mitchell Tobin who did the role in London, and he's doing it here. 
And then Big Fish is brand new. It was on Broadway last season. Yes. The composer Andrew Lippa just came to Wichita a couple weeks ago to help us with some That's promotions amazing. and stuff. So, you know, all the people that create these shows in New York really do know that we exist here in the heartland. Yeah, they know what Wichita is. Besides just being a word they may not be able to pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> or spell. Or spell. <laughs> um, talk to us a little bit about tickets. Well, you can always go to our website 24 hours a day and you can see what seats are available. You can buy them online if you like, mm -hmm. mtwichita.org. Or you can call our nice folks at the box office every day, 265-3107. Or you can just come down to Century 2 and uh, take a look and uh, see our people there in the box office. Do you recommend a good timing if they see a show that they like? Should they get their seats as soon as possible? Oh, seats have been selling really well for the whole season. So yes, thanks. Yeah. If, if anything still strikes your fancy, yeah. by all means, call or look at us online and yeah, see what's happening. Yeah, don't wait to see it. Any seat in Century 2, though, is it? Concert Hall is oh, a good seat. Oh, it's beautifully designed. There's no pillars. There's no yes. obstructions. It's really a lovely hall. But to make sure you get what you want to and mm -hmm. see it when you want, you need to check ahead. And before we let you go, mm -hmm. are you guys on social media? Oh, yes. There's a lot of uh, great stuff up at the webpage. There's videos and there's backgrounds and history and bios of everybody. There's photos from the productions. And then Facebook and Twitter, absolutely. You can find Music Theater Wichita all around you. Well, thanks for being here. We're excited to check out your shows. I hope you will. And before we let you move on, we want to make sure you know the website for Music Theater Wichita. It is mtwichita.org. And let's head over to City Arts. If you guys like to shop, Angela has just the idea in mind. Absolutely. You know, one thing we like to bring up is the ongoing programs that happen at City Arts. And one of them is Second Saturdays. And that's actually a citywide event that City Arts participates in. And as it says, it happens the second Saturday of every month. You can get 20% off your boutique purchases in the gift shop. And then new students can get 20% off a class registration that day only. So that's a time right now they're in the middle of their summer classes and the camps are going on for kids, week-long art camps. Mm -hmm. So use this second Saturday that will be June 13th and again on July 11th. You can use those second Saturdays to, to kind of sign up for some classes and get a little discount on them. And while you're there, you might want to bring that special little young person in your life. Absolutely. Another thing that's ongoing on the second Saturday of every month, it's busy on Saturdays, is adult and me workshops. So June 13th, July 11th again, and then August 8th, planning a little further in the future. You can come here. These are free workshops that take place from 10 a.m. to noon. The, an adult can bring the special child in his or her life to come and do a themed art project within those two hours and you take it home and it's done. So it's a really great bonding time. You can discover a little bit about what City Arts has to offer free of charge and kind of have some fun. So three opportunities to come in, enjoy a free experience and enjoy City Arts. Do you have to register or do you just show up? You just show up that time, 10 a.m. to noon, come in, sit down, they'll get you all everything that you need because materials are included. And I, we can guarantee you'll leave with some fun times ahead of you. And you're hooking everybody up with great times and great memories. Yeah, <laughs> you can do your free workshops and then you can go do some shopping for second Saturday. You can sign up for our class. Really, these Saturdays have everything you want all bunched into one. And I know if you're a wine enthusiast, City Arts isn't going to leave you out either. <laughs> Leonardo Divino are some Friday night workshops that have just taken off at City Arts. And of course, our topic for those is you bring the wine and we'll give you an art project. And that's mosaics. And so for 6 to 8 p.m. on Friday, June 12th, Friday, July 10th, and Friday, August 14th are the next three Leonardo Divino workshops. And you can kind of have some fun. Bring your bottle of wine and you'll leave with a mosaic project. And your own glasses, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think your own glasses. <laughs> okay. The alternative, yeah. Um, bring your own glasses, your wine, but you'll have everything else you need to create the art project. And you know, and you see there's pictures and I see the people that come in for these workshops. It really is, it's a great social time. It's a Friday evening, you finished your work week, you wanna go out and there's a lot of other people who share, obviously, a love for art. They share their love for wine <laughs> to, to uh, have with art and you all can just have a little bonding experience. It's really great, it's relaxing and that's part of what art gives you is a relaxing me time and we try to give as many of those experiences as we can. And do you need to register through the City Arts website for those? You do register for the Leonardo Divino, wichitacityarts.org, or you can call the front desk at 350-3245.
All right, and let's move over to Cowtown. A lot of exciting things going on over there this summer. Yes, it's summer at Cowtown. So we are having the return of our Cowtown Wow campaign. And you'll be seeing, kind of be on the lookout of the TV as you're watching your shows in the evening and during the day. We have commercials running on TV, ads in the newspaper, billboards. We're really trying to get the message out that defines your wow moment at Cowtown this summer by doing the daily activities, which include two gunfights a day, carriage rides, lots of themed buildings, interpreters on the ground. But there are also two special events that fall within our summer season. On June 20th, mark your calendars to attend A Day in the Life. And that's going to be a day where they're recreating events that happened in the 1880s in a specific day in Wichita. So you'll be able to come. People will be true to form in their characters. Buildings will be set up specifically to recreate some weddings that happened that day. There might be on the end of the spectrum some funerals, kids in the schoolhouse, the blacksmith shop open, the Wichita City Eagle press moving, and you'll see a typical day of Wichita in 1865. And it's one day where you can just realize you go in there, you may have your cell phone with you and you have where well, you're all dressed, but for all intents and purposes, you've entered a whole nother time period. Yeah, what a fun way to learn. It is. <laughs> it's a, it is a really unique educational experience. Cowtown is a one of a kind. Other cities have museums. No one has Cowtown like we have. And so that's a jewel that we invite the Wichita residents to come and rediscover or continue to discover. And we invite people who are in the Wichita areas and around the driving distance with Kansas, come make a day trip, spend it in Wichita. Cowtown's one of many alternate cultural attractions to enjoy. So, and then following up on the next day on June 21st, you can come back out and there's gonna be vintage baseball. And these are teams that play in a league, actually a vintage baseball league. They wear the wool uniforms, which... Oh, they'll be hot. <laughs> yeah. These, they're into it, and they're committed to it. And they'll play with the old-style baseball rules. One funny thing that I've learned as we've gone through all these topics is baseball, when it was initially created, was two words. So you see, And so, you know, those little things here mm -hmm. make a difference when you're talking being true to form how it was. So you see the way it was played back in the old style rules and it takes place over by um, the farm field. So it's a really great experience. So with the day in the life and the vintage baseball games, are there extra costs for that? Or? No, all of it is included in your admission. Seven seventy-five for adults, six dollars for children, and there's other tiers as you get younger. I also like to encourage you, you can pay your daily admissions, but consider doing a membership for a family or individuals. You'll find with so much going on this summer, with the amount of times that you have the opportunities to visit Cowtown, you'll recoup that membership very fast mm -hmm. and continue to accrue benefits of your free admission into any day you choose into special events. There's also some discounts to the, to the gift shop and some newsletters, so it's, it's a great value and you're supporting Cowtown annually to help us continue to keep this one-of-a-kind museum thriving in Wichita. And we can go to your website to learn more yes. about that? Absolutely, oldcowtown.org. And there's a link for support Cowtown and it shows everything about memberships. And of course, daily activities and everything that's going on is highlighted throughout the website. And there is a special Cowtown WOW page and I remember as you go out there, hashtag and use Cowtown Wow, you may see your pictures come up on our campaigns in TV or newspaper. Very fun. And we can't forget about it, the Indian Center. More fun stuff going on over there. Yes, Indian Center is not going to let Cowtown outdo them. They themselves have a summer campaign that's hashtag NDN Summer, played, spelled out with just the letters to have a little playful wordplay on it. Mm -hmm. And the Indian Center is a location where there are things all going on all summer long. One of the things that is just opened that will be of a special interest to visitors is a new exhibit centered around gentle harvest, every sheep gets a haircut. How cute. It is very cute. And you look at that and you go, huh, what's that about? And that's the intent to get people a little bit interested in questioning what's this all about? And basically it's an exhibit centered around weaving from the perspective of a sheep whose wool is gently harvested, <laughs> they're never harmed, to create this what going into the rugs, the fibers, how American Indians throughout the years have used weaving, which has become a long-held tradition, and they 
basket weaving, rug weaving and such, those things will be on display. They'll actually have a faux sheep with act real wool on it to, to see the process. You'll have colorful displays that lead you through the entire history, of why it's important to American Indians, how is it done, where did they get their materials. And along the lines, if you mention Indian Summer, there's special gifts for you, which is a miniature loom that the Indian Center staff created themselves that can get you in the act of weaving on a small scale and instructions are provided. So we want it to be interactive and fun. Doing it from a sheep's perspective was intended to have a, more, a greater appeal to children. And so while you're there, you'll see that exhibit. And then there's, two or, there's three other exhibits going on at the same time. There's outdoor encampment with a full-size teepee. There's a child-size teepee inside the museum. So while you, as you come for that exhibit, there's other things to discover while you're there. Yeah, lots of opportunities to keep those young minds active over the summer. Yeah, and it's an educational experience that we try to do it in such a way that kids learn, but they're not really realizing at the moment they're learning. They're having fun, but they are taking away an experience, which primarily at the Indian Center, we are welcoming for everybody to come in, first and foremost. And we want to build an understanding among other people of this different culture and its diversity. It's something that we all have a connection to here in Wichita. And as promoting diversity is something that we all, you know, can make our community greater. And before I let you go, you got to tell us about the Dreamcatcher class. Absolutely. Arts and craft classes are part of what you can discover with your Indian summer. And it is Saturday, July 11th from 1 to 3 p.m. A great bargain at $15 for Indian Center members, like Cowtown, the Indian Center also has members, and $20 for the general public. And Dreamcatchers are one of the most recognizable art pieces of American Indian culture. And you can come in, the materials are all prepared for you, are ready for you. American artists, American Indian artists lead you through the process, and you'll leave in two hours with your own Dreamcatcher. Very cool. And give us the, the Indian Center's website. TheIndianCenter.org. Easy to remember. Absolutely. Thank you for being here, Angela. Thank you. And thank you for watching this edition of the Arts and Culture Spotlight. I apologize about my voice by only a little bit of a summer cold, but we got through it. So make sure to head over to City Arts Century 2, the Indian Center, and Cowtown for a great summer.